you do? How would you react? Scream, freak out, that always helps. Dive, dive under the pews, okay, that's good. Rob said he would chase him out, okay. Up to this point, nobody has said they would go check on Jimmy. And <laughs> It's Father's Day, okay, let's make sure that he's okay up here somewhere, okay? So there'd be all kinds of pandemonium going on, right? Let me tell you what I'd be doing today, okay? Today, I'd actually be just fine. I'd be just fine. And it's not really a spiritual point of, I'm ready to meet my maker and I'd go be with God. Although that's a good question too. Are, are you ready if that were to happen today? Right. Let me tell you why I'm ready, all right? In fact, I'm going to show you why I'm ready. I'm going to tell you if you're visiting that uh, this was G-rated. I promise not to freak anybody out. All right. On Friday night, I was visiting with one of my good friends, Ian Nicholson. And while visiting with Ian Nicholson and seeing some of his exciting things, I was able to uh, ascertain that he had a couple of these, so I have not put him in any actual danger. But, uh, I took on loan from him my bulletproof vest. <laughs> It's good to be protected. Right. I mean, what would you think if we had, let's say we hired someone from your town in the police department and they got no training, no gun, no vest, and no car, and we just said, hope it goes well, here we go. <laughs> you think that, that would be that would be that would be ridiculous. It'd be beyond stupid, it'd be crazy. You know, how can you how can you do anything with no training, no car? You know, go get them. And yet. It's what's done spiritually by most people all the time. Yep. It's what's done by some people in this room. Little to no training. You don't want people really involved in your life and close. Mm -hmm. And we don't even put on the armor of God before we head out anywhere in the morning. We don't even really, we aren't sure about our salvation. We don't really know the battle plans. We don't have the Holy Spirit living in our lives and shining through us. And we're going out, maybe saying I'm a Christian or a disciple or whatever, but, you know, that's shocking to some people when they find out who work with you or who live with you or who are related to you. And, and God's point is not perfection, but put on the armor of God. Amen. Is, that, is that, you know, get into His work. Get involved with people. Connect up. Make it a priority. so that Because the devil is going to be firing his darts. He's yeah, working right. 24 hours a day, right. 7 days a week, and he's got most of the world working with him. Right. Right. And they're coming after you. Right. And in many cases, they're just kind of eating your lunch. Because you don't have on the armor of God. You've got a few words that come out of your mouth, but, but the battle is going to take everything from you spiritually. And, and, and the world is saying chill, and enjoy the summer, and vacation, and think about you know, what you're going to be doing two weeks now. And God's saying, the battle is raging. Mm. Prepare, rouse for the war, yep. put on the armor of God, watch out, here it's coming.